Hello YouTube, uh, this is Jason Faulkner. I'm here with Brian E. Smith. We want to show off our uh, LEGO Java project with the NXT brick and uh, we use the LEJOS code to run Java on there. Um, some more info, Brian? We uh, implemented the Clawbot from the unofficial LEGO Mindstorms NXT Inventor's Guide by David Perdue. We modified the robot. Instead of pushing items off the mat like a sumo bot, it guards a territory. And the book includes NXT G code. We use Java. Um, um, we use NetBeans and the LEJOS to implement our project. Yeah, that's right. We wanted to code it in NetBeans with Java because that's what we're good at. So LEJOS let us do that, and it was actually pretty easy. Go check blog out the blog. Too. Oh yeah, the blog is on Java.net. Um, J Faulkner, J F A L K N E R. If you Google Jason Faulkner's blog, you should find it. All right, let's show this bot doing what it does. Okay, so um, when we turn it on, you should see the LEJOS boot screen here to show you that it's actually running. Oh, there you go. It's kind of hard to focus on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and run the program. Okay, now it's going to beep for six seconds so I can get out of the way here. There we go. Okay. Now it'll turn around and wait for anything to get in its path. You'll see something and charge it and push it out of the way. There we go. <laughs> and then it comes back home. Once it's back home, it spins around and looks for something new. Let's see that again. There it goes. And that's pretty much it. How long did it take to compile the LEJOS source? Oh, no, not long at all. If you look in the blog entry, it should only take about 15 minutes, but it took us maybe maybe upwards of an hour because we had some uh, class path issues. We blogged about that. Anyhow, the whole project took, what, two hours? That's not about right. The making the robot itself took 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, we, called, we also compiled. And Turn this guy off. There we go. Yeah, so not a bad project. It was a lot of fun. Um, check out the blog. The source code's on there, and hopefully you enjoyed the video.